Thank you for visiting ShipRaiders.com. Today we're taking a look at the Super Region 1 Championships for Wrestling taking place this weekend at West Liberty. Joined by Jaleel Page, 197 pounds for Shippensburg. Thanks Jaleel for joining us. No problem. Um, Jaleel, you made nationals last year as a freshman after a really strong regional tournament. Uh, one of the things uh, with wrestling is it seems like you work so hard, so hard, so hard, and it builds up to this weekend. This is really the weekend that, that counts, right? And uh, if you could just talk a little bit about all the work that you put in to get to this point to make it happen. Well, basically, you work as hard as you can all season long to, uh, you know, put together a good season, have a good record, but none of that stuff really means anything. The only thing that really matters about the whole wrestling season is this tournament. So all the sprints in the beginning, all the wins and losses, the heartache, that means nothing. So it's pretty much just about this one tournament right here. You're one of the region's best, but there's so many other guys, and there's only four spots to get in. So it's a challenging, obviously, competition. Uh, but talk a little bit, too, about it just goes, you know, you, if you have a bad match, you just got to shake it off, go right back to the next match, you know, in order to compete. Can you talk a little bit, a little bit about that? Yes, especially in this tournament. If you, if you have a bad match in this tournament and you lose and you're wrestling back, you pretty much have to just shake that off and keep your eyes on the goal, which is to qualify for nationals. Um, if you can win each match straight through, you had a perfect day. You won four matches, you're the regional champion, you make it to nationals. If you lose one match, you can wrestle five, six matches. But throughout wrestling those matches, you still have to keep in mind that your goal is to make it to nationals. You work so hard, you put in so many, so much effort yeah. all season long to get to this point. Talk about what that's been like. I mean, it's a long road to get to this point. Yeah, um, I mean, we've wrestled everybody, so I mean, we're going to see them again, but uh, you just really got to turn it up at regionals because people scout, um, they look at your tapes, and you never know what can happen. Uh, when you go into this weekend, is there anything you're telling yourself, I need to make sure I do this to have success? Um, well, I'm wrestling up, so the guys will be a lot bigger. I haven't seen quite everybody yet since I did start out at 41. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it's just one match at a time and one period at a time even, honestly. When we start in September, we challenge each of them to make a goal and the goal primarily focuses on you know the national tournament and how to get to that national tournament and so primarily you know our practices and our dual meet schedule and those tournaments are you know looking for the matchups and trying to get the right matchups so that when we enter the tournament we get you know good seeds you know that we're facing the right opponents that we've faced the right opponents so that when we go into to the regional tournament we have an idea about our competition, our level of competition, and you know the expectation for each guy. The final, you know, the final shifts and weights, and you know, moving Throckmorton up to 49, and you know, Hafer and Blankenship were at 41 all season long, mm -hmm. and you know, Leitner maintained 33, but you know, looking at you know Arthur Watkins who started at 174, moved down to 65, and now Pastore's at 74. I mean, that's. Just all part of you know sure. proper planning and you know again matchups in the room. Mm -hmm. So you know we're excited about this weekend. You have a tournament structured this way. I imagine sort of you know you can't get to the next step without that first step. Is that something that is that an approach you're recommending they take, or is there anything you're parlaying on your wrestlers to say try to abide by this? Top four go. Yeah. And you know <laughs> every weekend we tell them it's zero zero. Mm -hmm. You know it doesn't matter exactly what you did during the season. I mean it's an indication, but. This weekend coming up, the guys that have beat you, you know, you now start that match zero and zero. And, and this is your chance. Four going. This is your chance to redeem yourself. This is your chance to, you know, to meet that goal that you set in September. And it's a matter of hard work. It's a lot of balance, you know, from, from the classroom to the practice to holding your weight. And everything has to be right if you're going to qualify for a national tournament. And, you know, we preach to our guys that it's a, it's, it's a, it's a balance. It's a balance. It's it's a it's a life um, that you lead through wrestling. So you just can't leave here every day after the two hours and forget about you know what you have to do um, outside this room as well as inside this room. So our guys are ready. You know they worked hard. They put themselves in a position to win, and now they just got to prove that they have the ability to to move on. So Super Region One Wrestling Championships will be Friday, Saturday. Uh, at West Liberty University, Coach, best of luck this weekend. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us.